Hey YouTube, it's Cheyenne Lee Bearson here and today we are going to be cleaning and cooking venison heart. I shot a buck two days ago. Opening day of archery season 2022. I took down an awesome seven point buck. Beautiful shot placement, as you can see, hit him perfect hit him perfect. It was a really great hunt. Here's the arrow that I shot him with. Um, blew th through perfect shot on one side and blew through a shoulder on the other side. So just took a little nick out of my fletching. On this hunt, I also shot and recovered a doe. Doe down. I have never eaten venison heart before. I've tried to eat elk heart. My dad shot an elk, I cleaned the elk heart, pretty much did the same thing that we're gonna do here. I wasn't a fan of it, but I didn't have a lot of seasoning. I was in Montana at the time. Um, we were staying in a cabin. It was kind of a primitive elk heart attempt. So we're gonna do this the right way. I've had this heart soaking in a little bit of ice water, flushed it out a few times by pumping it. And now what I'm gonna do is get into it with a knife. So. All of this here is a very sticky, bitter fat that we wanna take off of it. So any kind of white that you see on the meat, you're gonna to wanna to take and just cut that away uh, to reveal more of a steak-like appearance. Okay, now that we've got all that off, we are going to be cutting down this line here to separate it. There's two parts of the heart. We're basically splitting it in half. So now that we've got it cut in half, what we're gonna do is open it up. Get anything out of there that is fibrous, like these little sticky pieces here, any white that we see on the inside and basically just cleaning it up, making it all look like a piece of steak. That's the goal. You getting to get that? Mm -hmm. Anything that's white you wanna take off. I guess I'm gonna get that little layer too. May as well trim it up all the way. So this isn't white, but it is kind of fibrous looking. So I'm just gonna trim that away. Now this side, same thing. I'm gonna kind of butterfly it a little bit to open it up for us. You can cut right through there because we're gonna slice it up All anyway. Right. 
I just don't like that piece. So now that we've cleaned it up, I'm going to be cutting it into strips. We're gonna try frying some and we're gonna try just putting some in either some olive oil or butter. We're gonna pair it with green beans and mashed potatoes. Really hoping this goes over well. I'm gonna season it up really nicely and get the pan nice and hot. Let's get to frying. Check out these steaks. These look great. So you guys have to admit, if I didn't tell you this was heart and I just said this was venison steak, you wouldn't even question me for a second. So I'm hoping that the taste test is the same. I'm gonna cut it into little strips about this size. And if I see anything that I miss, I'm gonna trim that off, but I honestly don't think I will because I did a pretty good job making sure to get every little piece off because I want this to be good. I want this to be something that I want to save every time. There's so many nutritional benefits of eating the heart and more and more these days, more people are promoting it and saying we need these vital nutrients that are in animal organs. So what better organ to be eating than something that you went out and harvested yourself that you know is organic, no pesticides, no GMOs, no growth hormones. Taylor has started on the green beans and the mashed potatoes. In the meantime, I got started on prepping our fry batter. So we've got some flour, some breadcrumbs. I added in garlic salt, pepper, a little bit of Everglades, and then I'm gonna mix it all up. We don't have an egg right now, so I'm not gonna be able to dip it in an egg. But I did mix everything up with some olive oil, garlic salt, black pepper, and just a little bit of salt in a bowl. And I'm going to be dipping a few pieces into the batter and the rest are just going to be going in um, without anything on them. Just in some olive oil or some butter. I haven't decided which one yet, but we're going to do about four or five pieces in the fry batter. We typically don't fry our venison that often, but we did want to give this part a solid try. Just try it a few different ways. These pieces are coated pretty beautifully and they are about to go into the pan into some hot olive oil. We've got hot oil in this pan. This pan is steaming hot. We're gonna add the butter into this one. As soon as the butter goes in, I'm tossing in our unbattered part into this cast iron skillet and then the battered meat is going into the olive oil. All right, ready, set, go. I have to say, I think the fried's gonna be better. I have to say, I think so too. So I am gonna add a little bit of Montreal steak seasoning to the one in the butter. Make it like a steak strip kind of. If you guys have any other recipes you should try, let us know. Mashed potatoes, green beans, a little bit of Montreal going on. It smells good. overcook steak in general. I don't like the taste of it, so I'm just going to pull this off right now. Mm -hmm. 
smells really good. Yum. I'm really excited to try a piece of this. I'm ready to eat. Me too. All right. We're going to let these sizzle for a few more minutes, get them out, plate them up, and then the ultimate taste test happens in just seconds. We are getting close to taking our first bites. Taylor made some little bit of horsey Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to go with a piece that was just in butter first. I want to try it without the sauce. Oh, it's so, it's really freaking good. Which one did you try first? Consistency is a little chewy, but very good. All right, so it tastes like venison. And I wouldn't say it's chewy, but it's almost you have to chew like a Spongy. half a bite to break through it, and then it kind of turns regular. All right, fried. Oh my god. They were amazing. Really, really good. Hands down, the fried is 10 times better than this, I think. Like, I'd be totally fine. The fried it. taste is like backstrap. Yeah, this is really good. Like, Super it makes between like cube steak and backstrap. Yeah, this is amazing. Definitely will be saving the heart in the future on every deer that we shoot uh, because this is great and. Like I was saying earlier, it's filled with great nutrition value. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of our dinner. Thank you guys so much for coming along. I hope that you learned something and are attempting to try something new if you ever get the chance. Try it, it's worth it, it's so good. Until next time, I'm Cheyenne, this is Taylor, and we will see you guys very soon. Bye bye.